I felt like nothing mattered. I drank, I hung up with horrible people, and I just kept downward spiraling. One day, someone just told me, why don't you come to church with me? Ask God for help, ask him for guidance. I was just like, what difference could it possibly make? But at the same time, what do I have to lose? I've met a lot of people, unfortunately, in the faith who could be the most judgmental, full of negativity, almost poison people I have ever met. The vibe here, it wasn't like that. It was like, okay, stuff goes bad. You're still loved, you're still protected, and God will still love you, and God will forgive you. I got told a lot as a kid that you sin and God wants nothing to do with you. I feel like I am walking, talking, living, breathing proof of God's forgiveness and God's love. I come from an abusive background. Growing up in the home I grew up in, you don't really know unconditional love. You know conditional love. So when someone says, God loves you no matter what you do, you don't really believe it. I find that I have to remind myself when it comes to viewing God as a loving father. You need to look for passages where he celebrates love. Like the first passage I ever memorized was John 3, 16. He gave Jesus, he made the ultimate sacrifice and he did it for us. Even if the world falls apart, he's still there. He's still holding on to me. He's still wanting what's good for me. I am the only one in my friend group who follows Jesus, who goes to church, and I have been made fun of for it. But I sit there and I get to explain the Bible to these people. I get to show them what God's done in my life and how he's guided me. Water baptism is like jumping off the cliff and knowing God's gonna catch you. You have fully accepted him as Lord and your savior, and you wanna do everything in your power to just show him how much you love him, how much you appreciate him. I am really glad I accepted God into my life. I'm really glad that I don't have to be alone. I don't have to suffer. I don't have to feel like the world's against me anymore. That I have some sort of armor protecting me. That one day, I will be in a better place and I really hope that all my friends and my family will be there with me.